everybody welcome back to epic beauty fail i'm jessica on today's video i'm going to be doing day three of the august five days of foundation and today i'm going to be doing the ulta mineral powder foundation now this one is in the fair it's the shade fair 01 and it is just a loose powder foundation it is already open i think i might have used this in a video before but i definitely haven't used it in a full day of wear test so um going to be going ahead and using it today. Now I will tell you that I have the Ulta website up here. I'm going to go ahead and read to you what they say. Now this just says Fair 01, but it looks like they have, since I bought this, added um, like a C, N, or W to let you know what the undertones are. But I'm going to go ahead and read to you from the website. It says Alta's mineral powder foundation is made with pure crushed minerals and soothing extracts of chamomile and ginseng. Ideal for all skin types. Achieve long lasting and buildable lightweight coverage with a natural finish. Soft and creamy texture applies effortlessly covering blemishes and evening out skin tone for a flawless look. It's fragrance free, gluten free, sulfate free, silicone free and vegan friendly. And like I said, they, they have a C and N and a W for cool, neutral and warm. Um, there's only 10 shades. So that kind of stinks. Um, but there, there's only 10 shades. So, and they don't go deep at all. There they are right there. So I am going to go ahead and try this because, uh, like I said, I, I already own it. Um, and I think I did this in a full vase of Ulta makeup, maybe sometime last year. If I can find that video, I will link it either in the card or down below. So anyway, um, like I said, I don't believe I did this in a full day wear test. I do think I just did this in like a trying new makeup kind of a thing. And we're going to go ahead and try it full day right now. Okay, the sifter, it's a little bit hard to get the product out, but I did get some out here in the lid. Before I get started, I want to let you know that I did spray my face down with the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist, and then I put the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer, primarily in my T-zone, but also a little bit on my chin, and um, pretty much I started here and then just worked it out. So anyway, those two are on my face already, and we're going to go ahead in. I'm going to be using this Sonia Kashuk brush that I've used the other two days of foundation. I'll probably be using it for the rest of the week as well. I'm going to get a little bit of this or maybe a lot of this on my brush. Got a little bit too much and pull my mirror over here. We're going to go ahead and get going with this and see how well it does. I can tell you right off the bat that it looks like it's more coverage than the other two powders I've tried this month. I also forgot I put this first aid beauty eye duty triple remedy on underneath my eyes so definitely higher coverage than the other two foundations i've tried so far for for uh august all right i'm gonna go ahead and put this on and i'll talk to you just a second Okay, well that took me almost no time at all. That is surprising how little time that actually took me to get this foundation on my face. And I used less product than I thought I would as well. So that was actually really, really easy. I, I feel like I look very luminous. Uh, it's definitely not a matte foundation. The only thing that I'm seeing is that I have a couple of dry spots like around my nose here a little bit and it seems to be clinging a little bit to my dry spots so that I'm not real happy about but I'll keep a look on those keep an eye on those for the rest of the day and see how it does okay I'm actually really impressed with this so far um, I can't remember what my first impression was last year when I first tried this. I honestly can't. I don't know why I put it in my drawer and haven't tried it since because it's actually really nice. Um, yeah, I'm actually really surprised. This is probably this is probably on par with the Bare Minerals one that I tried a couple months ago when I first did powder foundations. Hmm. I'm really liking this so far. I like the shade. I think the shade looks good on me. Again, the shade range stinks, but um, I was able to find a shade that worked for me, which 
Sometimes I can, sometimes I can. All right, the time is now 11, whoops, 1126, 1126. All right, I'm going to hurry up and put the rest of my makeup on. I need to leave in about 10 to 15 minutes to go somewhere. So I need to get my makeup on. I'm just going to do a really simple look today like I've done the rest of the week. Uh, today I'm actually am not working. This is a weekend when I'm filming this, so I'm not working. So I'm just going to try to put on something really quick. I am going to be spending a little bit of time with some family today. So I don't need to look super glamorous, but I have about 15 minutes to get going. So I will see you guys in just a moment. All right. The time is now 1137. So it literally took me 11 minutes to do my makeup. I just did a really simple, really quick look today on my eyes. I'm using the Huda Beauty uh, Mauve Obsessions. I literally have the cream color, the brown color, and then this red color. That's it on my eyes, all mattes real quick and simple. Uh, I use the it confidence in your glow. This is the, uh, instant nude glow on my face. So I used all three on my cheeks and then my lashes are the pair that I've been using all week. The roller lash on my upper lashes and the wet and wild mega slim skinny mascara on my lower lashes. I used the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer on my eyelids. The Morphe continuous setting mist. And then on my lips, I used the bare minerals gen nude in the shade friendship. This is a matte lipstick. So I'm really liking that formula. I think I had it in one of my favorites here, either May or June, one of those two. All right. I'm going to zoom you in. I'm just making sure that I'm not missing anything anywhere. Um, all right. I'm going to zoom you in and we can talk about this foundation real quick. So honestly, I think it looks really nice. My biggest complaint about this is that I usually prefer a matte finish on my foundations. I don't typically like to look shiny because especially in the summer, I do get oily. Now in the winter, I don't get very oily, but I'm also a little bit older on YouTube. <laughs> um, I'm 39, so I'm not super young and I don't mind the luminous look or the shiny look or whatever you want to call this. I feel like it's just luminous. Uh, I don't mind that look. I just don't typically go for it just because of the fact that by the end of the day, my oils will probably be showing through. So I think it looks good. Right now, I think it looks good. My only concern, like I said, is going throughout the day that it might get a little bit too oily, greasy looking. So right now, I think it looks good. I think it looks like my skin. It just looks more luminous than my skin. It's definitely got more coverage than I have gotten the last couple of days on powder foundations. Uh, and I like that. It's balanced out my skin tone. And I like that. Um, overall, right now, literally 15 minutes in, I can't. I can't tell you a complaint about it at all. I think it looks really, really nice on my skin. So we're going to call the check-in time 1130. So I will check in around 330 and then again around 730 tonight. And yeah, overall, I think it looks pretty nice right now. Of course, I'll give you some closer up pictures when I hit my four hour mark. But for right now, looking pretty good. So, all right, I'll see you guys in about four hours. All right, everybody, it is midday. I'm checking in a couple minutes early because we're about to hit the road to go to my dad's house. So it is 325. Is that showing up, 325? Um, so it is a couple minutes early, but it's okay. Um, there's a couple things that I'm not liking about this foundation and how it's sat over the last four hours. Primarily, my under eyes. Sorry for the super extreme close up, but my under eyes look so dry. And I've used that uh, First Aid Beauty triple remedy stuff before, and this doesn't normally happen. So the only thing I can attribute it to is the powder foundation, which is sort of sad because the only other area that I'm having problems with is my chin. I mean, my chin is kind of broken up a little bit, which I don't really expect from a powder foundation. But it's not like, it's not the worst that I've seen. But like on my forehead, I think it looks amazing on my forehead. On my cheeks, I think it looks good. It's, and even my nose, like my nose looks good in this foundation. It's literally just the dry under eyes. So I could fix that by not bringing the powder up that far. I could uh, use a concealer and then another powder to set the concealer. 
and then put this on just avoiding the under eye area which I will definitely have to try and the chin doesn't look that bad I've had a lot worse let's be honest so midday I'm not minding it in certain lights it looks better than others though so like here I am in natural lighting it is raining so I'm staying I'm standing on my uh, porch but um, in natural lighting I think it looks okay under the uh, studio lights I think it looks okay the worst lighting that I found is my bathroom lighting <laughs> I, went, I went in the bathroom and I looked in the mirror in the bathroom and the lighting in there it made me look absolutely horrendous so and I have some friends down here there's my two puppy dogs. Do I look cute here in my shorts? And uh, I'm wearing, I'm actually wearing Nick's flip flops right now. Yeah, because I just ran outside real quick to uh, to to check my my makeup. So, anyway, that's where we're at midday. I will see you guys in another four hours. Bye. All right, everybody, I'm back. It is 7:40, so right about on time. Right about exactly eight hours. And yeah, overall, I would say this foundation is not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in and I will show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so a couple things. Uh, first off, this morning when I first put it on, or yeah, this morning when I first put it on, I was worried about some dry patches around my nose and they look okay now. Um, as my natural oils have come in throughout the day, the dry patches don't look bad anymore. I think they're okay. The chin that I was concerned about midday, it's not any worse. So I think if I would just do a touch up and just put a little bit more powder on my chin, uh, I don't think that would look bad. In fact, I don't even think it really looks bad unless I do this. You know, if I'm just sitting here talking to you, you can't really see that it's like creased a little bit in my chin. I mean, my mirror is right here. It's literally like a foot away from my face and I don't think it looks, it looks bad. Uh, my under eyes, they, they look dry. I mean, I, I would not use this powder that close to my under eyes again. Uh, other than that, um, the only other thing I don't like is that I'm looking very, very oily as my natural oils have come through throughout the day. I'm looking very oily. I am not creased up around the nose or caked up around the nose. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, my lip looks good. Um, I mean, it's definitely in some of my creases. Like I have a scar here on my lip right in here. And I mean, it's in that scar, but it's not it's not horrendous. Actually, I think it makes my skin look even more natural. It makes it look like I'm not wearing foundation. The only thing that's really making it look like I'm wearing makeup is the fact that I'm so luminous. So I'm so bright. And a lot of that is the oils and the fact that the, the foundation, at least I believe the foundation is a luminous foundation. So with my oils added in, it just looks very shiny on my, on my T-zone, but it's looked like that pretty much all day. So it's not horrible. I mean, I don't think it's horrible. Even as the day's gone on and my oils will come out, I don't think it's horrible. So overall, so far, I'm pretty happy with this foundation. Uh, it's, I would say it's much better than the previous two because of the fact that it actually gave me some coverage. And the other two that I've tried so far this week have not given me hardly any coverage at all. So that is definitely a bonus for this one over the other two. Uh, there are some negatives on this one, but the fact that I got some coverage is, is, is encouraging. So that is my first impression on the Ulta Beauty Mineral Powder Foundation. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please hit that red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell to notify you when I do upload new videos. And if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.